Guildford TV. I'm Rosanna and this week we're in one of my favourite lanes in Guildford. We're wandering down Swan Lane. It's official, two charities have the X Factor this year. Local Children's Hospice, Shooting Star Chase, based just down the road in Guildford. And the amazing National Children's Charity, Together for Short Lives, who look after 53 of the children's hospices nationwide, have been announced as the beneficiaries of this year's X Factor winning single for 2015. All profits from the single will be donated to helping provide vital childcare to children with life limiting conditions and their families. The charity single will be digitally released on Sunday the 13th of December and CD singles will be in stores to purchase on Tuesday the 15th of December and 100% of the profits from the sales of each CD and download will be equally split between Shooting Star Chase and Together for Short Lives. That means that at least £1 from each CD sold in the UK and at least 20 p for each download sold in the UK will go to these two charities. Simon Cowell says, I've worked with these inspirational charities for many years and I'm delighted that the X Factors winners single sales will help families who are going through such unimaginable difficult times. Simon went on to say how important it was to raise money for these essential charities across the UK. The single will be from the fourth winners single with proceeds going to charity. Every time they've done this it's raised millions of pounds for the organisations chosen by the X Factor. This really is something close to my own heart. I've been to visit Shooting Star Chase just down the road and seen firsthand the work they do. And I've actually worked with Together for Short Lives for about a year now. And I know what an important job they do nationwide. If you want to know any more about either of the charities, go online and see how you can help. The season of giving is in full swing in Guildford's largest shopping centre as the Giving the Earth campaign continues in the Friary. When you spend over £75 in the centre, you'll have the option to receive your very own Christmas tree sapling to grow at home. There'll also be some weekend Christmas, Christmas tree window display hunts led by Santa's elves, Holly and Ivy. The Christmas tree hunts are free and take place over the next three weekends between 12 and 4pm in the centre. It's a busy time in the Ferrari with the addition of new retailers Superdry and Zara along with new catering venues and other independent retail outlets. So be sure to pop in for pictures with a green Santa and for details of the other activities they've got planned over the weeks leading up to the end of the year. It's Panto season and the town has a number of options this month. The Yvonne Arno Theatre continues its 50th anniversary celebrations that include this year's Panto, Jack and the Beanstalk. Join Jack on an adventure of a lifetime as some magic man beans land him in big trouble. The show is on now and will run until Sunday the 3rd of January and tickets are available from the box office on the left hand side of the reception when you walk into the theatre or from yvonne-arno.co.uk. Guildford Fringe are also running their grown-up panto, Aladdin Rub My Lamp. It's a smart-filled experience for grown-ups with a sense of humour. The adult evening in the back room of the Star Inn on the corner of Quarry Street and the High Street will run until the end of December and it's a great evening of laughter and cheeky innuendos in the story of a beautiful princess who lived in Old Peking. Nick Wishner of the Fringe had wanted to set the panto in Bangkok for the smart value, but sadly the panto union just wouldn't allow it. It does remain, however, a night of laughter and fun, ideal for work outings as well as couples and singles alike. Tickets are available from guildfordfringe.com and the tourist office in the high street. So while filming our last little story out there, a friend of the show, Tom Evans, just walked past. Hi, Tom. Hi, good to see you. Real, really nice to see you, and thank you. You've given me a present. Your your first book in a series of books called Mindful, Timeful, Kindful. Um, and now the next book, am I right in saying, is about to come out. What's that called? When does it come out? Uh, that's coming out this week, and it's called Managing Time Mindfully, and it's how you change the speed and nature of your thoughts so you get more things done in less time. This is definitely what I need in my busy life. I struggle trying to juggle everything, and I oh, will listen, that's great. And how many books will there be? Is there... That's my, that's my 12th book, funnily enough. Wow. Um, but it's, there's going to be at least four in the series. 
the next book after the book on time is going to be about how you get ideas, like light bulb moments, yeah. and the one after that is how you can get money just to turn up in your life just when you need it. We like the sound of that. Using mindfulness. We like that. And listen, is, you've got a website as well, don't you? So people could log on there and have a little look at your ideas. And what, what's, what's the website? It's www.tomevans.co and you'll find on there free meditation to get you into the mindfulness state. Love it. I'm checking on there. And listen, thank you so much. Really looking forward to reading this. And we'll get the one, the one that comes out later in the week as well. So thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Staying with the festive season theme, we're looking for your input on this year's best Christmas window display. We'd like you to nominate the best window display in this town of December, and if you can, take a picture of that window so we can use it on the show. We're just working on a prize at the moment, but just for now, the idea is to highlight the shop with the most festive window display. Please email your suggestions to us at features at surreytv.co.uk or send our team a message via our Twitter account at the Surrey TV. We'll announce the winner in our last episode before the Christmas break. Thank you for watching Guildford TV. Please do share and tell your friends and colleagues about our channel. We aim to share the good things happening in the town. In other words, you won't hear or see negative stories on Guildford TV. Have a great week. I'm Rosanna and I'll see you soon.